Sunday, July 8th, 1230 p.m. Mountain Time, 2018. Guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at some unique sky phenomenon that surfaced here recently. What you're looking at is some sort of a structure in the sky observed over England. This was seen by some school kids from a uh, school out on a playground. And this gentleman here named Charlie went out and videotaped whatever these things are. We can speculate. Um, that these were put here by planes. They're a natural phenomenon. I don't know. Neither does he. Um, this one here almost looks three-dimensional. If you adjust the filters on this thing, in fact, let me play it through. If you adjust the filters, it almost looks like yet another eye in the sky that we've been seeing around the globe for several months now in different places. But don't know exactly what this is. It's up near the sun. It's got a big curve to it, almost looks like some sort of a gateway arch, like you would see in the uh, Midwest in Missouri, that gateway arch, not quite as steep, but it's got a sharp curve to it, and looks kind of three-dimensional. I don't know if that's just a shadow or what that is, but kind of neat regardless. Again, this was observed over England about five days ago big sweeping curve in the sky actually two but the one on top looks like it's got more features to it like I said it almost looks three-dimensional here I'm gonna stop this for a second here is where it looks like it's got eyelashes it's got the pupil eyelashes on top and if you compare it to a I don't know what that was if you compare it to a human eye there you go you can see the similarities. So anyway, once again, whatever this is in the sky, it was observed over southern England. I want to say back on June 3rd, I'm sorry, July 3rd, uh, less than a week ago, 2018. Next, we're going to be looking at something over uh, California, Yuba County, California. This was sent in by Carrie and she just caught a quick glimpse of whatever these things are she said they were at a very very high altitude in fact they were kind of hard to see they were so high but yet they kind of looked big for as high as they were this is a still image she took and then she sent in a brief video clip as well that i've slowed down and zoomed in on as best i could and you can see here this is a video clip in like one of the different formats that I used. I think I used two or three different ones to try to pull these things forward, whatever they are. They almost form some sort of a shape, but her phone ran out of memory, and this is all that she had time to film. She just captured a few seconds of whatever these things were over Southern California. Here's another format as well. Don't know what we've got going on here, guys. If those are birds, if they're balloons, if it's some sort of a strange structure, they almost have, or at least some of them have reflective properties. Not exactly sure what we've got here. Some sort of strange objects in the sky in broad daylight over Southern California. Cool picture here that looks like ocean coral from a coral reef come out of Georgia. This was sent in by Angel really cool picture another neat picture here sent in from Austria big halo overlooking the mountains in Austria pink sky sent in by BJ and then this last picture or two in fact there's two pictures these are from Boise Idaho an apocalyptic looking sky and what that's from is a huge wildfire that's not even in the state of Idaho. It's close. It's the Martin Fire. You can see here at NCWeb. And it's a 164,000 acre wildfire that's only 2% contained. And you can see the smoke is visible clear up in Boise, Idaho. Nearly a million acres burning right now across the country. And that number is growing. And this is one of the many wildfires, and they're predominantly out west here in the western United States. This is smoke from one of those wildfires, nearly a million, in fact, probably over a million acres burning now. 
nationwide. Thanks for watching. Have a super day. Be safe out there.